What's up, dirty plant hoes and all you dirty plant enthusiasts out there? Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys three different plant mail boxes that I unboxed over the past, I would say like three or four days or so. I was kind of out with my back for a minute there, so filming wasn't really an option. But today, I'm gonna talk about all the lovely, lovely, lovely things. One of them is a plant swap, and two of them are just generous gifts from either plant tubers or friends on Instagram. Let's get right into it. So first of all, first of all, so first we'll talk about the stuff that Ashley sent me from the channel Planting the World Red. If you guys have not heard about her channel, you should definitely go check it out. She is a cutie patootie, and by the way, she's been killing it on Instagram lately with her self-portrait type photos. Like, she has such a beautiful smile, and I really love that about her. Her personality is really bubbly and good and upbeat, and I really, really like her. So if you guys like Plant Channel, go definitely check her channel out. Okay, so this is a little propagation jar that I've had going on for quite some time. This is my uh, Silvery Ann little cuttings that I had, but in here, I put with them because I feel like it's good to mix it up with plants in propagation jars. I feel like they all put out their own different uh, rooting hormone signature, if you will. Totally unfounded. This is not science, by the way. Don't get confused. This is my this is my theory that if you mix them up, they do better. And she sent me this little beautiful Brantianum cutting. It's absolutely gorgeous. It actually has like a little it actually has like a little curly cue on the stem that is like super duper cute. I'm loving that. And then in this propagation jar as well, we have a little um, lemon lime Maranta cutting and it's already pre-rooted. Really, really, really cute. Leaves did like curl up a little bit in the mail, but Marantas are pretty hardy. You know what I mean? When you're rooting and propagating them. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. But I love this Brantianum. And by the way, I don't know if you guys saw, but there's been Brantianums. And I don't know if it's just from the complete and total madness that's happening right now. But there was like a basket of Brantianum on Steve's Leaves that sold for like $1,200 or something crazy like that. So technically, this is a pretty valuable little cutting. These days, we'll see where it all pumps out in the end. But it's definitely some curious happenings. Then she she sent this little guy and I'm not sure exactly what this is. It's like, um, it could just be like a regular dog tail like cactus or it could be something different and I'm kind of just mis IDing it, but I don't think so because of like the little tufts of hair that are happening right here. But either way, it is super adorable. There's like a spiraling type of thing happening. I'll be showing you guys on B-roll, of course. But I love the vibrance of the green in general. The green color is so bright. It's the brightest green on this whole table right now. And this is the first time I've actually tried to root um, these types of cuttings. So this has been really cool for me and also very interesting. I put it in a terracotta pot with my normal soil mixture and you can see it's very heavily patinaed and I'm trying to replace all of my drainage dishes with terracotta so things look a little bit nicer around here you know what I'm saying so this is the next thing that she sent me and I put it in a propagation bag bag and I know that one of them is a Hoya Curiae right and I cut it into it was a really long piece and I cut it into several pieces but there's the one little piece right there and it has the node and it's already starting to root can you see that it's definitely already starting to root so that was really cool and I have a Hoya Curiae splash but I do not have a regular Hoya I have a Hoya carry ice. Y'all are gonna watch me in my Hoya lady infancy on camera. You're welcome. So Hoya carry ice. So this was a really cool thing. And then she sent me, don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. I bet it's already rooted. That's why it's acting like that. Not yet, not yet. yet and this is either another piece of a carry eye right here or it's a different kind of Hoya but I know that sometimes they don't fully form the hearts 
Not 100% sure on that. And then she also sent this little bugger, which this one is super duper cute as far as my new emerging Hoya collection is concerned. No rooting just yet, but she's definitely thinking about it. And Ashley, if you could just comment down below and tell me which Hoya this is because <laughs> I don't know. It's like if you search on Google, circular Hoya, it's just something you have to learn over time. You know what I mean? And I just don't know it yet, but I really love it. So that's my little thing. Blow that bad boy back up. That was my plant trade with Planting the World Red. And it was five plants total. I sent her, I think, five I'm not 100%, a lot of stuff has happened since then. This next little collection of ditties was sent to me by Rachel and her Instagram handle is RM Firestone. Now you guys may be familiar with Taylor Firestone's channel and you know that Rachel is his wife. And she sent me a message and said that she was gonna send me some plants and I was like, that's awesome, thank you very much. And they came all just absolutely beautiful. I will do the bag last, okay? But she sent me this beautiful little jewel orchid here. Absolutely gorgeous. I went and bought a little special um, turquoise pot for this baby. And I'm gonna also be getting special pots for these two. I like to put the ones that my friends that have sent me and my Instagram friends that have sent me, I like to put them in really special pots. I'm that, what's the word for that? When you're weird? Sentimental. I am that sentimental. You wouldn't believe it, but I actually don't have any jewel orchids, and this one is absolutely gorgeous. I love pink. This has the beautiful pink variegation down the leaves and actually starts looking like a little bit more like lightning bolts down here at the bottom. I'm very excited to have this little baby added to my collection. I know that she has like a couple of jewel orchids and they all look very beautiful. And then she sent me this Hoya and I think it's a Hoya Obovara. Maybe, but I've got it in this little spag Tupperware. And let's see, nothing, I don't think, oh yeah, yeah, look here. Is that connected to it? <gasps> Holy moly, holy squacamole. It sure has, man, this rooted fast, y'all. Dang. Okay, yeah, and look, you see it's got little bitty tiny baby leaves right there in the end. That is really cute. They come out looking, Hoya leaves come out looking like little tiny cupped baby hands like little baby hands that are like, please sir, may I have another? My, um, is there just no more room in my shit brain for plant names? My Hoya Macrophylla Variegata is putting out some really bomb ass new leaves because they're coming out completely pink. So that was the second baby that Rachel sent to me. And then this is the third little baby that Rachel sent to me. And recently they did a uh, voiceover where Taylor voiced over her doing plant chores. And then I saw that after she sent this to me, but she was propagating this little baby because I, I spied it in her video. Um, I'll be linking everyone's channel that I'm talking about down below. So it's easy for you to find them also. So she sent me a philodendron gigas and not just any gigas like this gigas is absolutely gorgeous and completely different from my gigas so none of mine have this like i don't know if it's light stress or if it's just you know not every gigas is created the same i'm not 100 percent sure but none of mine have the pink on this portion of the stem either totally different now you notice that i've potted it up in some soil a soil mixture but that's only because Casey has to go downstairs and get more Lekka and there's too many spiders down there and I'm scared, okay? I can't go down there. They're big ass spiders too. I'm not saying I hate spiders. I just don't want to get bit by like a brown recluse or something and then have a giant like bullet hole in my leg because I wanted Lekka. That's just my intrusive thinking getting to me. This is an absolutely gorgeous baby gigas and I love it so much and she told me she messaged me and she was like I got so tired of seeing that that fugly ass gigas that you got from New Life Tropicals that I had to send you something to get you started back in the right direction and I was rolling when she said that to me I really appreciate that you know I think my gigas heard you talking shit because the gigas actually pushed out is pushing out a new leaf I've been like 
talking shit to my other gigas and being like, look at this gigas, look how cute this one is. Look, if you don't make it, I've got a backup. I appreciate you assisting me in intimidating my gigas that I have currently. Thank you very, very much, Mr. and Mrs. Firestone. I really appreciate it. And in today's climate, we both know that's a pretty expensive plant. So next up on the planty male extravaganza is this little turkey bird right here. So these came courtesy of a friend of mine on Instagram, and his name is Trey's Plants. He knew that I had been looking for the Milana Bolotta. That's a lot. The Milana Bolotta. And after Cody had sent me one, he was like, hey, are you still interested? Do you still want this? And I was like, absolutely. It's always great to have a backup plant. He sent me this gorgeous specimen and it's actually got a pretty thick stem and rhizome and it's got a little bit more mature leaves than the one that I have from Cody but I think they are both absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to be looking for a really beautiful ceramic pot. I'm getting like way into ceramic pot shopping also because every pot that I buy I try to get it to like represent the person who sent it to me a little bit. Whatever. I'm really into my feelings today. The next thing that he sent me is this cute little Tupperware full of Meekin's baby cuttings, which are the best. Me and Casey were just talking the other night if we had to only pick one common house plant that we would have to be living with forever for the rest of our lives. And we both immediately said, it's because it is the most gorgeous common house plant that there is out there. If you train them up a pole, they have the potential to have huge leaves, like some of the more rare philodendron. Beautiful little Meekin's cuttings. I can't wait to get them started. He sent me this little, I'm pretty sure that this is called an irisine or it's commonly referred to as a blood leaf plant. Now I did have one of these a while ago, but it was out in my uh, front garden and it was where uh, I couldn't see it. It was like around the corner and I just didn't water it like I should have. I never considered keeping it in the house and why wouldn't you be able to? I mean, I've got lights and everything like that. This one is also way cuter and way daintier than the one that I had. The one that I had was quite large. So I'm excited to get a second chance at growing a little blood leaf. Last but not least, for sure, he sent this little cutting of a philodendron painted lady. It is absolutely gorgeous. No, I did not ever have this plant. So I, you, know, you guys know how crazy I am about begonias and philodendron. So no, I didn't have this in my collection, but that doesn't mean that I wasn't seriously eyeballing it. I see these painted ladies a lot in different Facebook groups like Time to Splurge and Purge. So this was absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so, so much, Trey, for sending these plants. I really, really appreciate it. Talk about being a lucky lady. It is not lost on me how nice it is that I got all of these like almost in the same week. And I was kind of having a hard week like physically. So this was really, really, really nice. And I really appreciate it. Ashley, Rachel, and Trey, you made this plant hose week a hundred times better and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming by and checking out all of the beautiful, lovely, kind, and generous plant mail that I have received from other plant tubers that are currently on YouTube doing wonderful work and Instagram friends. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much for coming and watching this video. If you enjoy my content, be sure and give it a little thumbs up down there at the bottom of the screen and hit subscribe if you want to see more content from your girl. We love you guys so much. Peace out. Later taters. Bye. That's really funny because the camera is still on and rolling and I just stopped talking to it, but it's still on and the microphone's still on. And would you like to say anything to anybody on my camera? I would. I would like to say hello, everybody. Hope you all are doing wonderful today. You choose to pursue me. I said thank you for your mercy. You give it to me freely now. And even though I don't deserve you.